Hello, N4H&H &H here with the ASU FT710 AESS. I have an opportunity now to try out the noise blinker. Uh, some of my power line noise is back. I presume that's what it is. It does sound like classic power line noise. Listen. Don't have to worry about no trees. That'll work. I'll turn DNR off. Okay, I'm going to enable the noise thing. blinker, top you know, right, okay, right up here. Hey, wait a minute, which, tell me which antenna you got again, I'm here on this page, I want to look at it. Step power, go in there, two element and look for the urban beam, it looks like a bow tie. No, 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 your ladder line that you ain't never... Long press the noise blinker oh, and you can adjust it. I, I had adjusted right, it up on, to three. It It'll start at zero. Hey, uh, Bud Gary, he's going to sell that. There's one. one. I think he's going to put it up. You might buy it from him if you're looking for one. Well, I just have to read. I'm going to put something else up, just trying to get into another area of the world that I can't... Okay, I'm going to move a little off frequency so you can hear just the noise. No noise blinker. Noise blinker. I'm going to go to level three. If you go much above level three, you do get distortion. I'll let you hear it. Flagged all the way to the ground, went right back up in place whenever the last went away. Oh. Ropes didn't break, wire fine. You got all kind of negative ideas on why you can put up antenna. You got three in the garage, you need to put one of them up. Categories, all W7FG design dipoles, and you go to uh, uh, 10 to 80, 100 foot feed line, right there it is. Uh, yep, that's it. All right, 10 to 80, 100 foot feed line, and the uh, antenna's how big? 125 feet. All right, thank you. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's about like it is in the FTDX-10. You just can't go too high on the noise blanker level or you get some distortion. Okay, but here we are, noise blanker off. Uh, let me move up. Okay, noise blanker on. Now there's some adjustments in here in the operation setting menu. Similar to with the FTDX10 under Receive DSP, noise blanker rejection. It's on mid, which is default. And you want to, you do not want to go too wide. That's going to introduce distortion as well. Okay, I'm just going to leave it on its defaults. So you got three settings for the rejection and the width. Without. With. Okay, let's try the FTDX10 noise blanker. Anytime next little while and hopefully... Okay, here we go. Long press so you see it's on level three. Now this is a pretty gnarly noise. I think this might not be power lines. I'm hearing something else in there, almost digital. Okay, but well let me go into, uh, so I'm on level three. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go into the function menu, operation setting. Now the DSP is different in um, in this radio. You see, and look, operation setting. There's nothing in here for noise blinker. It's in the general setting, and you've got noise blinker width one millisecond, three millisecond, ten. Looks like three is doing better. So with my power line noise, one millisecond is better. Okay, so the rejection level has to be maxed out, which you notice it's different 
in the 10, you've got it in decibels and milliseconds. Okay, so that seems to be about as good as it gets. Okay, here we go without. And with. Oh, let me turn off digital noise reduction. So now they're equal. Off. On. Now, it's handling it pretty well. I mean, that's, that is more gnarly than uh, just power line noise. All right, let me switch over to the 710. Without. With. Now, I favor, it looks like the noise blanker is better in the uh, FTDX-10. See, the noise blanker in this is, you know, it's, it's the NXP semiconductor's chip. Okay, we'll go back to the 10. No noise blanker. noise blanker. FT710. No noise blanker. Noise blanker. I mean, it's not terrible. That's a gnarly noise. I don't think any noise blanker would get rid of it. Just going to go ahead and max that out like I did on the uh, FTDX-10. Okay, so they're both... Running IPO 12 dB of attenuation. No noise blanker. Noise blanker. Okay, back to the 10. No noise blanker. Noise blanker. Uh, they're they're maybe neck to neck. I don't know. It seems like the FTDX10 might be just ever so slightly better. I mean, you can see it on the S meter. Um, let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, so what's the S meter here? No noise blanker. Okay, FTDX10. Here comes noise blanker. No noise blanker. noise blanker. Okay, back to the 710. Zoom in on its S meter. Okay, no noise blanker. Noise blanker.
Yeah, I think they're neck and neck. No noise blinker. Noise blinker. Okay, one more time to the 10. No noise blinker. Noise blinker. And, you know, like I said, this is a very, very aggressive noise I'm getting tonight. It's uh, not, and I just not my normal power line noise because these things usually knock it out. I think that's something digital going on here uh, in the neighborhood. Well, there you have it. Uh, noise blankers, I would say it's about a wash. Slightly different execution of noise blanker between the two, but about the same result. Uh, and I can tell you with the FTDX10, I've, I've shown it before uh, in the FTDX10 playlist that that noise blanker, if you go, you know, much above three, especially above five, it gets, uh, you know, where people sound like they're gargling. And that seems to be the case as well with the FT710. So I hope you found this video helpful and informative. Uh, I wanted to shoot a video and focus on the noise blankers. Uh, that's an important part of amateur radio today because there, it just seems like every day or so there's something new that pops up uh, creating noise on the airwaves. So it's important that the radios are able to deal with that. Don't get too disappointed that the noise blanker didn't completely knock that noise out. You know, it, these noise blankers are really, I, I have found they're most effective against just plain old power line noise. But noise that we get from digital sources um, and, you know, like noise from LED lights, noise from, um, I've had a, a phone charger, a wireless phone charger create a horrendous noise. And in fact, it was so bad that it affected my two meter rig. Um, the, uh, the lamp in an aquarium my daughter had, just various things that you bring into your home these days um, can be a source of noise. So this is an important part of a, of a radio, you know, these days is the ability to knock that down. And of course, again, I had turned off digital noise reduction, so that was strictly the noise blanker. I look at the noise blanker as a band-aid that will get you by until you can try to address the noise at the source. Uh, you know you know the trick I've taught many times on the channel. Try to run your radio on a battery and then uh, flip the breakers off in your house. And then one by one, flip them on. Well, first of all, flip all the breakers off in the house. And if the noise goes away, you know it's coming from your house. Then one by one, flip the breakers back on and you will locate which circuit has the device that is causing the noise. Uh, you want to do that before you accuse a neighbor or call the power company. Just be absolutely sure that the noise is something uh, external to your home. And the best way to do that is to run the radio on a battery and flip all the breakers off. If the noise goes away, it's definitely something in your home. And so then you just flip them on one at a time. Like I say, find the circuit. And then once you find the circuit... You go into that, say, that room and you start looking at devices that are plugged in and one by one unplugging them. So the noise blankers are really just a band-aid to get you by until you can deal with the source of the noise. So uh, again, I hope you found the video helpful and informative. I must uh, shout out and thank the Patreon support team who bring these videos to you. I'm not independently wealthy. This takes time away from my family. It costs money to produce these videos. Uh, so I much appreciate the Patreon support team uh, backing me on this so I can afford to do it. Uh, you know, there's cost even in just storing the videos in the cloud and, and th things involved in editing. So it's just uh, so much uh, that I would not be able to do it on my own. So thank you to the Patreon support team who uh, bring these videos to you. And if you like this type of content, if you value this, if you learn from this type of content, then consider becoming a part of that Patreon support team by going to www.patreon.com forward slash N4HNH. Patreon.com forward slash N4HNH. I'll put it on the screen here. And if you would, please uh, give the video a like. Smash that thumbs up. That helps us out with YouTube. It doesn't cost you anything. 
just, you know, please smash the thumbs up. Uh, consider subscribing to the channel. If you do subscribe to the channel, be sure to click the notification bell and you will be notified when I upload another video, usually a couple of weeks. And uh, finally, if you would consider uh, sharing the video link, the link to this video on social media, uh, text message, email, or phone a friend. Hey, thanks for watching and 73 from N4 H&H.